And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ionia Victor. That's what we're calling this one. It's hard deck to name. Uh, we are going to be a Victor control deck uh, that also has just some other champions in here. We're, we're playing one copy each of um, Heimerdinger, Lee Sin, and Vi. Um, this is a really cool deck. This is a deck that we played a, um, a couple of times on like like while we're playing ranked like on ladder we played against this deck list this was from um a user named dresbo and so dresbo made this deck and um did did really well with it you know made it made it to masters last season and, and that's whenever we we're playing against dresbo with the deck and um thankfully after one of the games dresbo came in here to twitch chat and was talking and and sent his list over um, so we're going to try it out. So it, it starts with like Ballistic Bond and Eye of the Dragon early. Like these are the kind of the keys of like your early defense, especially Eye of the Dragon. Start with these things early. Try to just set up the board because you just try to delay the game. Um, you know, I, the Ballistic Bond, of course, creates the Ignitions, which are the created cards that help you out for Victor. And then also like with it being the Ignition, that's a one mana spell. So that makes it very easy just to play any other spell to get a Dragoling. So they kind of work pretty well together. We're also playing three Death Rays. So much aggro running around. Death Ray's pretty sweet. Um, you know, be able to deal one to a unit and then, you know, create your MK2 and so on. And then whenever you create your MK2, MK3, those are more created cards for your Victor. Um, so those those all work pretty well together. Also, Thermogenic Beams, we want really, really cheap removal um, because we're going to be spending extra mana on Ignitions all the time. So we want cheap removal. Um, since we have all that cheap removal, we do have a couple progress days for some for our uh, top end card advantage, um, and of course we you want cheap spells to go along with like Lee Sin and and uh, Victor and all that kind of stuff. A couple copies of Whimsy, Whimsy um, can honestly perform pretty well in this metagame with Inspiring Marshals and Screeching Dragons and Eclipse Dragons and all that kind of stuff, and then just um, buffing up you know like Sparring Student and Green Glade Duo those kind of cards also but you know like if they have like a an inspiring marshal you can whimsy it turn it into a one one and then boom we got death ray <laughs> take it down so that could be pretty cool uh let's see we got the concussive palm homecoming combo so the game down and yeah that's that's what it's about it's going to be an ionia con victor control deck let's give it a try we're gonna go play our five games in ranked here we go Okay, let's see how we do against Aurelia Azir, especially with all these Death's Hands and Thermogenic Beams. Um, we're going to mulligan this. I want to keep Pi. Pi's a good card. You know, like, there's... <clears throat> we should be pretty good against Sparring Student. All right, we'll just take the trade. We do we do have three Nopifies in here also, which that's awesome against all of these bounce spells that they have. Ready, willing, and learn. And they could use a bounce spell right now if they want. Next time. Okay. Spin it round, throw it down. Ribbon Dancer seems like it's singing over here. Okay, so the <laughs> our mulligan didn't work out too well. The homecoming homecoming looks pretty weird with with playing like no units. Really, scales of the dragon couldn't have you last round. One girl wrecking crew. Let's get Vi with the tough end against potential blade dancing. Walk softly, strike quickly.
So very possible I should just let them cycle. And I shouldn't have played the Nopify. Especially with having the mana next round for Heimer plus a four mana spell if I just didn't play that. Alright, our victor is at zero. Cool. They wasted a lot more mana than I did that round, and I'm not too worried about these things. I know, obviously, I could have challenged something, but I'm not just, I'm just not that worried about those things. So, assuming this is an Azir, it's my best play against an Azir. It might be Heimer. And, yeah, it might be Heimer. Heimer only allows me one spell. Or if I go Vic, if I go Victor, I can go Death Ray plus Deny. Maybe it's Victor. We're going to. There's the one-two punch. Publish or perish. Block, block, block. Go to. S Okay. Let's go with the keyword. Seven was okay. Yes, life steal. Let's go. Life steal is a good one. Mm. So I could, I could, if I open attack, um, they don't have a good block on the victor, and I get the three life steal. But then you know we don't level up Vi. We don't you know like it's it's a little off that way. That's fine. We don't have to level up high. Hey, Jerka. Okay, so there's that card. And we are going to now use the Death Ray in response. That will let us level up by, and that will do. Okay, well, even with doing nothing on turn three or turn four... We still got the knockout. This deck's pretty cool. All right, we got Shivana, Aurelian Soul. This could be a really good whimsy matchup with with um, like they have they have some good options for whimsy. Now they're not really a great death ray matchup. We're not playing Zoe. They have a, just a bunch of 3-2s. Like, I want MK2 and MK3. I'm going to mulligan that, mulligan this. I'm going to actually keep Whimsy. Because Screeching Dragon and Eclipse Dragon are both kind of nightmares in their cards that they play like every single game. They can even have, like, the 4-mana 5-4 super big. But especially Screeching Dragon with me playing Victor. Or, like, Victor and Screeching Dragon just don't mix. Uh, I guess I can't ever kill that thing. And that's fine with me. Really glad we drew this Scales of the Dragon so I just have something to play. I won't stand by. Very good. It's a real bad play against, like, to play the Dragon's Protection here against single combat. What's 
the fire breath this time. Hmm? A soldier should know to stay out of the way. Genius. The dragon will Victor with sick. Fury. 4 7 Fury Victor. Regen would have been great. Regen would have been great. Answers. I have them. Watch the fire breath this time. Hmm? A soldier should know to stay out of the way. Yes, of course. Boo. Dragon Guard, you know what to do. Witness my true power. Why can't they just have a screeching dragon hand instead of a Shivana hand? This is looking very bad. Quite bad. Yeah, I'm not sure how we win this either. It's not going to be easy. I kind of imagine that Demacia Targon, Aurelian Soul is the worst matchup for our deck, right? Like, I, I imagine it is. I don't really want to nopeify that. I get Thermogenic Beam to get rid of it. I guess I just do that. I have to kill that thing eventually anyway. Our victor's at six out of seven. No attack with the 7-7. Seven, seven. Humanity is obsolete. Your favorite star. I created it. Shivana is awesome. 
<laughs> this Shivana showed how good that card is. This this game showed how good Shivana was. Alright. We're gonna continue to play that. One and one. No, I don't want to play this matchup. At least they have Zoe, which helps us a little bit because we have the the one damage things that are good against Zoe. I kept Whimsy last time and it didn't really work out for us, but I, I could see us mulliganing Whimsy and then they have Screeching Dragon because I need that card against Screeching Dragon. I don't know. Because they have Zoe, let's go ahead and mulligan it. We'll just keep the victor. Look for this card for Zoe. Well, we each hold the world within. Dragon, such fascinating creatures. Good. Not also not the three-two challenger. That's also good because like these one threes, the only Heimer, and I the dragon, not great against the the three-two challenger. No Shivana, no Shivana, no Shivana. Yeah, thanks. I like the thanks. Yeah, the Dragon Child they had last game also with the Shivana. That certainly hurt. So our victor is pretty tough. Is it a dragon? Who could ever know? Oh, this thing's burst speed. I can't death ray and then with and then burst, then whimsy it. Okay, so I did have to death ray. Ah, I needed to death ray right then. Better late than never. That gives me two spells for this, and and basically I'm worried about fight spell. I know we could play Vi, but I'm worried about them having a fight spell, so I I kept mana for deny available. Once I serve papers, now faces. Our goals are greater than petty violence. That was rude. So Draglings cost two mana if I put it back in my hand with Whimsy. It'd probably make more sense to put Ballistic Bot back into my hand, though. Alright, so they're gaining a whole lot of value over there. We'll see if it's enough to handle Victor. So Victor does take two. Could of course made it where Victor takes zero, but I, I wanted to get good use out of that whimsy. Life steal. It's four out of seven.
Man, they really are rude. Quick attack. Called it. So they are a hush deck. Cool. All right, got a hush out of their hand. I got Hush and Sharp Side out of their hand. But in particular, getting Hush out of their hand, very important. Alright, so Victor's at 6 out of 7. Victor's leveled up. Now is going to get either Spell Shield or Elusive. One of those two. Probably, probably Spell Shield. Ah, Fury. Alright, yes, Fury. Works. Specimen from the field, we let you keep the egg. Be content with that. Ready weapons. Break them. Bring it. Nah. The other dragon just isn't important, so I'm not gonna be trying to save it. Yeah, so I just let this happen. And single combat is just such a play. Lee Sen's interesting. I was thinking, like, I was thinking honestly of like Subversible for Homecoming. Like, draw a card, pick it back up, you'll draw another card. And Spell shield. Let's go. Spell shield. I fight with the dragon's I'm going to get so assuming that they have Hush again, I'm going to get the Lee Sin in play first. So whenever they hush, I'll have like these things for protection for like killing whatever blocks. And then that will turn on Lee Sin, you know, because I have Lee Sin in play. You got me. My lands need me. Everizing approach. Prepare yourself. Well, no hush. No hush gonna be a problem. 
for them. That's going to be a problem. Yeah, I guess they're already dead anyway, but <laughs> we'll make them more dead. Okay, Ionia Victor 2 and 1. A good win. That time they didn't have the Shivana on turn 4. You know, like the Shivana plus all spells and stuff like that. And so we had some more time to set up. GG's. Alright, LeBlanc Ash. Alright, let's see if we can get some removal. All their stuff's burst speed. I don't think Nopify really does anything. I like Heimer. Heimer's kind of easy to kill with Cooling Strike and stuff, but I really do like Heimer. I don't keep Heimer. Yeah, so I'm not too worried about the Frostbite part of their deck. I'm worried about the Elixir of Iron Troll Chant part of their deck. That's the part I'm worried about. Cool. We can get the Death Ray back into our deck and just get it started with the MK2, MK3. I guess I attack for one. <laughs> I thought about just pa I was just gonna pass, and it's like I guess it's better for them to be at 19 than 20. Another MK1. You don't see Trapper very often in this deck anymore because everybody's playing the Legion Marauders. I was definitely expecting Legion Marauders, not Trappers. Trapper's perfect against me. That's why I'm, I'm sad. <laughs> you know, the Trapper is great against me. Wow, and then they Rage Yeti immediately. That's perfect against me. They spend one mana, I spend seven to kill it. I guess maybe I should have known something was up with the Omen Hawk. Um, like the beginning of the game, Omen Hawk. I like that though. I love seeing Ice Veil Archer. And I like that they cooling strike to my Eye of the Dragon, not Heimer, so I like both of those. Gotcha. But I hate that. Can I take 10? I can probably take 10. Answers. I have them. Hot on the trail. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Let's just go ahead and get Iron Dragon in play. They know I definitely have MK2 by now, right? Like, with how many cards I've drawn since I played since turn one. Obviously, it's turn six. So they know about MK2. Casting MK2 gives me a Dragling and another 2-1. But casting MK2 does mean they could Coaling Strike Heimer. And then I get a Dragling still. MK2 for sure. Alright, please no second calling. Just let it happen. Okay, good. Not a second calling. Because now my deep meditation also costs three, so that's important. What is gained when we return malevolence? These stories were true. I think I'll just play this. Okay, so I was worried about uh, Reckoning from them.
that's five. Victor and Heimer together is such a combination with, um, you know, Heimer giving you all these turrets that are created cards that cost zero. Now, Victor leveled up, so now your turrets can cost less than zero. You gain a mana every time you play a turret now. Actually, I don't know if that's how that works. I guess we have no doggo in the bed over there now. Metal is perfection. Metal is perfection. Alright, got some tough regen. Some tough regen, eh? Yeah, there's still have tons of cards over there. Over there. I know a challenge when I see one. How are they going to do that extra one point of damage to Victor? Like, what's the point of that? found me. Could whimsy, but you never know they could have like Captain Farron. I'd much rather have whimsy for. Best possible draw step is progress day right now. We have lots of mana, not very much cards. The death rays have really taken away a lot of like the cards that I've been drawing into. Cool. Two ashes are dead. I think this is a safe block. <laughs> Frostbite and the Draglings. Level up, Heimer! I'm gonna let that one go so we can get the draggling. But yeah, like without without card draw, we're kind of stuck on drawing these death rays. Okay, Victor got elusive. They gotta be setting up reckoning now. All right, finally. We get our deny to do something. And that will do. Three and one for Ionia Victor. Good job, puppy. Good job. Oh, Fiora Shen. Getting back to a Fiora deck, I see. I like it. Okay, so Whimsy is going to be mulliganed. Whimsy is amazing against Brightsteel Protector. And, you know, Screeching Dragon. Great against there, too. Maybe I should have kept one. Yeah, maybe I should have kept a Whimsy. Who would here? 
What's up, Mervin? Dude, tur Turbo Thrall's going 5-0. That was a surprise. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. Um, but yeah, I got the 5-0 with that. Had some clutch like avalanches. And Preservationist was the card that I wasn't really expecting to be amazing, but was amazing. So Thermogenic Beam pl plus Death Ray is like pretty awkward for trying to stop, um, trying to stop barriers. Because, you know, like you have to use all your mana on your Thermogenic Beam, then your Death Ray can't pop a barrier. And that's fine. This will be quick. Eye of the Dragon's not very good in this matchup anyway. Did I keep Eye of the Dragon in my opener? I hope I didn't. I hope I mulliganed it, because it, it's not good against Fiora. I should have kept a Whimsy. Intruders. Mervin! How's life been going, Mervin? Hope everything's been going pretty good. Puppy got in a fight a couple of days ago. She got hurt. She got in a fight. But she's doing pretty good now. She's got a, a couple of um, cuts on her back from another dog. A much, much bigger dog. Biting her on the back. But she went into the vet and she's doing pretty good now. Yep, see, you should have kept Whimsy. Oh, wait, I drew Whimsy. What's up? <laughs> What's up, Whimsy? Uh... Tenacity through I don't really want to go Thermo for eight. Kind of want to just do this. Get this death ray out of my hand. That's a good trade. I got some two one toughs. It's smaller than a diagram. A sturdy construction. Yeah. Show them what we're made of. Ooh, Cythria, what are you made of? Do I want to stun it? Kinda wanna let it attack and then whimsy it. I kind of assume they have like a repost or something like that. So I was kind of testing them out, see if they'd use repost right there. My father's yeah. And Thermogenic Beam will clean it up. That scared squirrel. I'd be pretty scared, too, if I saw a thermogenic beam coming right at my face. A for ball. So we're at 8, 9, 10, 11. gas a little bit. Except for, of course, I have Heimer. Alright, do they have the thing that I really should have? Nope, they do not. I was going to say, do they have the 9-drop Bryce Hill Protector that I really should have saved Whimsy for? Does not look like it.
The King Koo go where they are needed. Our wills align. Kind of out of cards. I guess I stun this. And make a four mana turret. Four one. They're not gonna going to attack. I would love for them to attack, but they they're just yeah, they just won't attack. Um Okay, so open attack. They go block, 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 they take three, four, five, six, seven. Playing skills the dragon makes that nine, but that's still not lethal. Oh wait, I was. Oh, maybe I should have played Scales of the Dragon. I forgot about these being overwhelmed. That's more damage than I thought. Yeah, I should have played Scales. Understood. All right. So since they blocked the overwhelm, I can concuss a palm the overwhelm thing. Or yeah, concuss a palm. What's blocking the overwhelm? Yeah, I should have played Scales of the Dragon, but it works out. Four and one. It actually worked out better than I didn't, probably, because if I block, if I play the scales, they just block the scales there, and they just take ten. So it worked out, puppy. Good job. All right, so nice, good record here for Ionia Victor. So if you like playing uh, good old-fashioned control decks with, uh, you know, Victor and Ionia and all these kind of champions, give this deck a try. Really recommend it. Um, like I said before, this list was from Dresbo. Dresbo. Um, went to Masters last season with this list, had really been playing it a bunch, really been tuning it um, and everything, and it looked good. It's, it has cards that you don't see very often, like your Death Rays, your Scales of the Dragon, that kind of stuff. We did see with the Death Rays, you do kind of, you can run out of cards. That can certainly be something that, that can be a problem. Um, you know, we didn't really have the, the progress days to go along with it. But you can see how this is really tuned towards facing aggro, and all the aggro decks that are around right now, there's tons of them. Aggro is really popular. This is uh, pretty nice. I loved having three Nopifies against the Aurelia Zier decks that are, you know, having all those recall type cards and all these death rays against their sparring students and green glade duos and even the the one one um, elusive they try to keep bouncing and you know thermogenic beams for the early blockers. Like I think this list really worked out well. Um, and you know, like these are these are cards that not very many people play, like Scales of the Dragon. But Scales of the Dragon was awesome for us. That four two blocker was really good. You know, it really helped us trade with like a Screeching Dragon in there, and the Dragon's protections. It helped keep a Victor alive, helped keep a Hymer alive. Um, you know, good good created card there. Whimsy, doing its job. We took down a six mana Cythria for us, or at least helped do that. Um, yeah, so I, I really liked this list. I could definitely, like, one the one thing about it is I would want to find room for a third Deep Meditation. Love this card. I think this card is awesome. I kind of want to play a third one of those um, to get, you know, for to just to get a few more cards in here because we did see how we could, um, you know, run out of cards. Maybe just one, like, Homecoming is a little, eh. Maybe just one copy of Homecoming and then three copies of Deep Meditation. Um, I could see that, like where Demantation can help find your homecoming a little bit more often. Because we really struggle with having allies that we want to recall or that are able to recall. Um, and so we saw some of those times, some of those games where homecoming was just sitting in our hand and we couldn't do anything. And so there's some times like turn three, turn four, where we just had nothing to do, like we had nothing to even recall. So I could I could see just going with that like one three um, instead. Again, this is Dresbo's list, though. Dresbo's worked on this and played this a ton. And so I don't want to say that this is definitely what you should do. I'm just saying, like, personal preference. I kind of want that third deep meditation. And I'm a little iffy on the homecoming. Um, but, you know, for I would recommend giving it a try as is uh, because Dresbo's been working on it for so long. And, you know, we're, it really looked good. All right, so that's Ionia Victor, a cool, different control deck for y'all um, over on YouTube. All right, also, y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Hopefully, y'all try this out, those of y'all that, that uh, really like playing control decks. And leave those comments and let me know uh, how it's going for you. Let me know if the deck does well for you. Hopefully, it does. And, um, you know, how do you like it? 
All right, but that's going to be it here for Ionia Victor. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.